brought to you by... Hello, friends, and welcome back to ETF. This is my new buddy, Jim Reaper, and today we discover that there is always something enjoyable about the madness lurking within the minds of the elderly. They've been around for so long, seen and experienced so much of life, that it's bound to take unexpected tolls on their psyche. Every now and then, even driving some of them to the very brink of their sanity. Such is the case with today's short film, as we take a look at a local filmmaker's wildly twisted vision of the dark side of a kindly old woman named Mrs. Halloway. Mrs. Halloway is an elderly widow living alone in a quaint suburban neighborhood, where the most exciting thing to happen each year is the town's annual pie-baking competition. This year, she must do what she can to win the contest, even if it means killing someone for it. This was a film that I have actually been following for some time. From the release of its poster, I was very intrigued to see what type of horror experience could come from such a delicately designed piece of art. Now that I have finally had a chance to check it out, I can honestly say that I was not disappointed. Directed by Connor Morley, the film opens us up to the idyllic suburban community. Through serene scenery, kids practicing lacrosse, and a blissful piano score. This opening features soft yet vibrant colors, making the images that we are seeing feel as though we are witnessing them through the haze of a dream. This is somewhat reminiscent of the final scene in Brian De Palma's Carrie. These images lead us to the home of Mrs. Halloway. I love that our title screen was her monogram on the mailbox. I always appreciate when the title is made part of the set design. It illustrates a care and thought that was put into the presentation of the film. That the filmmaker took the time to even consider the opening credits of the film when they were creating it. Something that threw me off at first, but I quickly began to appreciate was the lighting in the first scene with Mrs. Halloway. At first I was put off because it looks very yellow and warm. But then I began to realize that this is the way older lighting usually looks in reality. Normally in a film, you would go for a more daylight balanced look. However, here they embrace the reality a little more and I actually do appreciate the decision. I did notice some of the sound recording felt a little off, like it had a little too much echo, but it's honestly forgivable and easily missed. There were also some focus issues where certain shots fell a little too soft, but they are brief enough to be overlooked. The color correction of this one is very interesting, leading into that somewhat warm and slightly magenta shifted tone, which normally would not be a choice you would go with during the coloring process, but here it somewhat adds to that feeling of being in an older person's home, and everything sort of feeling slightly out of touch with the present day. The, film's, the film shifts into twistedly brutal territory rather quickly, but maintains a dark comedy tone throughout. I love the over-the-top Pleasantville style that the film takes on, blending it with the brutal violence of something like American Psycho. The performances throughout the film sell that vibe beautifully each actor adding an overly cheery emphasis on every line delivered, and even over-exaggerating many of their physical movements. The camera work throughout the film maintains a healthy blend of well-framed locked-off angles and floating camera work, likely captured with a gimbal. 
This blend sort of places you into the unhinged mindset of the title character, where for the most part she is prim, proper, and composed, but leans toward an off-kilter, homicidal tendency at times. Without going too much into detail that would otherwise spoil what you can expect from this experience, I will say that this is a fun and entertaining little narrative that will make most horror fans at least crack a smile, while other less inclined audiences might feel their stomachs churn. This isn't an overly gory experience by any means, but is a highly suggestive one, and leans toward the notions that some horrific things are taking place which I personally feel was the right choice for this particular type of story. I'm giving Mrs. Halloway an A-. minus. This is a film that I highly recommend checking out if you have the chance, along with the rest of Morley's catalog of films that I have linked down below. Connor Morley looks to be an incredibly talented filmmaker who is aiming to tell some slightly different kinds of stories than we are used to seeing in the short film circuit, and I personally look forward to seeing what else he has up his sleeves.